Basically, he told me his face came with cold. And that's when I knew I. subscribers but i appreciate everyone so grateful for every one of you guys and i just want to say i really appreciate the fact that you guys like support me you know so yeah it means a lot to me honestly i won't lie it really means a lot to me but yeah without further ado let's get into the video okay babies as you can see by the title that i will obviously be telling a story time and then i will be doing a mukbang Bang bang with whichever way you say it. Okay. So got McDonald's and a big mat. So basically the main topic of discussion today is whew, guys guys honestly it took time for me to actually come here today and speak to you guys about the situation because in the past when I thought about it it used to hurt me so much guys honestly. So yeah I am today. Honestly I feel like I'm stronger than i was in the past because i was in a do story time on my own situation but um i wasn't mentally stable enough to actually come here and just speak about it again because it really hurt me that much that i actually couldn't speak about it a lot i didn't even want to think about it so now i'm a good guy we were actually on a stage in our relationship where we actually took Things serious, I don't know, but like I took it serious. I don't know about you, it's really didn't worry about you. It's love at its worst. The plan was for me to go over to his house. Okay, Thursday night, we planned everything that okay, I'm gonna go to his house for Friday. You know, and so, so he messaged me. Um, Friday asked me if plans are so fine, if I'm still coming and things like that. And I was like, yeah, obviously, I don't have a reason not to go. Then, Friday comes, I get ready. I was supposed to go sleep by my best friend the Saturday. Um, my parents didn't know that I'm coming to him, first of all. Guys, honestly, you have to understand, I was very immature. I was like... I was really stupid. I was dumb. Anyway, I was so disappointed in myself. Like, I look back and think about this every day, and I'm like, you actually did that. Like, you actually really did that, go. The plan for us was to, like, link up at McDonald's. Because, like, it's halfway between my house and his house. So, I was gonna go to McDonald's by myself, and then get in by McDonald's, and then come fetch me from his house, and then come and get his house. Was my spec? I asked my father to drop me off at my best friend's house, but can't they didn't go to my best friend? I lied. And honestly, this is why you shouldn't lie to your parents, guys, because things were in bad for you, for your mental health. Don't ever lie to your parents, be honest. It's really it's useless because they're gonna find out eventually. And even if they don't find out, it will hurt you. Whether it's physically, whether it's mentally, but we learn from our mistakes, guys. So, now, um, I'm lying to my parents, I'm going to my best friend. Um, now I walk to McDonald's alone. Meanwhile, you know it's extremely dangerous, guys, especially for for gold. self history, no? self history, okay. 4 o'clock I get there He's not there I feel like that's already the first red flag I mean, so honestly guys, if you're listening, if you're watching This is especially for the guys If you know that you're gonna have a date with someone Be there before them Be there, be waiting for them Cause that just shows how much effort you And interest you have in the relationship Cause honestly If you're not gonna put in that much effort into the relationship I don't know, yeah, you think she's gonna be loyal Like honestly It's fine 
I'm chill because like I'm just waiting for him. I'm dumb. I'm young. I'm stupid. You work so much more. Why would you put yourself through such things? You know. But it's like, um, I feel like that just bored me as a person. But anyway, back to the story, guys. See, this is why I don't do story times because I'm always like, I know, no? always telling you I'm a photo. I order an orange juice just to wait, you know. Fine. I order an orange juice. I show I'm on my phone. I'm calling. I'm texting. I'm. His phone goes to voicemail. Second red flag. Any time you stop waiting at McDonald's. Next night, my ex person. I texted her. I was like, can you please get his friend's number? Because she was busy with his friend. So I was like, can you please send me friend's number? So I can ask him where is exhibit A. So he sent me his number. I told him I asked him where is exhibit A. He's like, no, I haven't been with exhibit A. I don't know what's up, but I, I'm at home and things like that. Remember this, no? I'm asking the friend, the other friend, sorry. The other friend now. Don't you pass no? Because now I, I, I really have no choice now but to ask the friends first. Like, he's not answering his phone, phone is going straight to voice now. His text is not even going through. It's two hours gone now. I'm waiting there for two hours. I mean, really, guys, now. I mean, anyway, three hours gone. Now I can't go back home because my parents are gonna ask, Why didn't you go to your friend? I thought you said you're going to your friend, you're gonna go sleep over by your friend, but you didn't. Now you're back. Why? Three hours went by. After the two hours, I decided me, those people are looking at me like, What's going on with this girl? So I decided let me go to the bathroom. Just try to get all of him in the bathroom. For an hour still, I'm in the bathroom. Still I haven't answered his call, his voices. His phone is still on voicemail. Text doesn't go through. His friend still doesn't know where he is. He's not with his friend. Cool. Time comes. I go out of the bathroom. I go out of the bathroom. I check game and it's still light here outside. The sun is still shining. If I don't leave now, I'm gonna have to walk back in the dark. <sighs> Meanwhile, me, I'm so drunk in love. I walk at the McDonald's, I walk to his house. Can you imagine three hours, guys? It's already 30 minutes is long. Imagine three hours. Now on my way, I'm calling, he still isn't answering. Now this is the distance that I'm walking, guys. I'm not talking about from your house to the shop, tag shop. For Kimberly people that's watching this, it's from from Beaconsfield, man, to, to to Newton's primary school. Man. I don't know if you know where Newton is, but yeah, there's the distance. But no. But I think we will we will learn. I stop by a place which is close to his house and call, to call him again and he answers this time and I'm literally close to his house. I call him again, he's like okay I'm coming now. Still waiting. Still waiting, still not coming. And I find I'm going to his house. Before I go into his house, like before I go to his yard. His brother comes to me. His brother is like, um, now I'm, tell, I'm telling his brother, like, your, your brother really didn't do me right and shit like that. I'm like, honestly, your brother did me bad, did me dirty, I was waiting for him. Now his brother is calming me down. The brother knew what shit he was doing. But he's here, comforting me and things like that. I go in, he comes out. He'll have scrap. But I didn't notice it at that point, like I didn't take a cop to or like, I was just so angry that I had to wait. Did I not see the friend there that I called? Did I ask where is he? I saw him there. I saw his friend there. 
But this friend told me that he's never seen a guy for the day. He's at home and he's in work. Except A. Hey. I think we put ourselves through. I think we put ourselves through. I'm actually glad I experienced that before I finished the trip. Reason being, now I'm more matured. You know, I wouldn't do such things now. I would date a guy, pick me up at my house. I wouldn't let, I wouldn't link up with him at the mall or McDonald's or anything. But anyway, guys, that just made me who I am. That just made me strong. Anyway, child, so I didn't go in the house. I was outside with his friends and me now. He was telling me um, his friends came with other girls and stuff like that. Basically, he told me his friends came with girls. And that's when I knew I But his friend told me he hasn't been with him this whole day. He was at home. The friend was at home. But Exhibit A is telling me his friend brought the girls over. It doesn't make sense. But okay, guys. Now I'm standing by the stairs. These girls come out. Now they want to leave. Three, there were three. I know the one. We were friends. Oh, I wouldn't say friends. We weren't friends. She was just a fan. See you. And that's on her. <laughs> anyway, we knew each other. She knew that I was buzzed with him. Things like that, you know? That's what made it worse. She knew that I was buzzed with him. And she still has enough to go to his club with friends. And sign me not knowing, being dumb, not knowing what is going on, thinking that he's going to be here for his friends, blah blah blah. This is what it is. Um she didn't greet me. That's when I kinda knew something was good. She was like so scrub. Like honestly, she was so scrook, she didn't know what the fuck was going on. She was honestly, you know, she was chattery. And I could see something was off, but I couldn't get to the point of it because she's my friend, I trust my man, things just weren't adding up. She comes down the stairs, I'm standing on the stairs, I'm the last person by the stairs. The, the other three friends were standing here, my guy is standing opposite me. But basically on the stage, so she comes down. Now she's like, hi Shawnee. She asks me and she's like, there guys. <laughs> I saw that. Honestly, I could never be anyway. Moral of the story is not everyone is your friend. Okay? Not everyone's your friend. Guys, honestly, I was so annoyed when I found anyway. You know, I'm mixing things up. These guys are so trash. Like, they don't even take these guys, these girls off. We, they're like, bye. <laughs> they were so trash, guys. Like, those guys are trash. Like, honestly, there isn't another word for that. I'm not bad mouthing anyone, but that's just what it is, guys. I mean, after cloth, cloth, I mean, at least, you know, be that guy, gentleman, or whatever. Mm -mm. None of them took, took those girls halfway. They just left. And those guys just said bye and they were just standing. They just think that's trash. But uh, whatever. We all laughing. I'm also laughing. Can't my guy smash that girl that had me. My fan. Let's just stick to fan. Let's just call her fan because at this point she was a fan. What the hell? These guys, they will cheat on you with cockroaches, with frogs, with whatever creatures there is. Honestly, I'm, everyone saw me having this girl and everyone knew that my guy smashed her. Don't you think I look stupid? I felt so embarrassed. I felt so humiliated because everyone knew that she smashed my man and she's hugging me. And I'm friendly. Me being myself, me being friendly. Because I didn't have a reason to hate her, I didn't have a reason to be rude to her. 
I've grown and now I just feel like life is really not worth entertaining like that. I don't entertain drama guys honestly. Because she came in from that and I didn't want to, you know, push her away because I'm not like that. You know, my mother didn't raise me like that. I just thought like the way she was like standing on the balcony. So weird. She didn't even look at me. She was so awkward guys. She was honestly so weird. That I was supposed to play fun that time, but no. We go in the house. Friends are there, chilling. I honestly don't hold grudges, guys. If I see you, I will greet you. Just greet you. That's just what it is. I'm not gonna, you know, have a conversation with you and things like that. Like, just know your distance. Keep your distance, know your place, because stay in your lane. These things happen. Six months later. And that was now after he asked me to be his girlfriend and everything like that. So I'm busy doing my homework. But I'm not thinking about that situation again. Like, why the hell did I work so far for a guy? I really put myself through that things. Did I really go through such things in my life? Did I allow myself to go through such things? I'm doing my homework. I'm thinking about that situation. Now I'm thinking also at the same time. My brother's girl was acting weird. You know, when your intuition just tells you, be smart and think about this. According to Exhibit A, I was overthinking. But anyway, truth came out. He eventually confessed. He eventually confessed to me, hey, this is very terrible. They that day I was waiting for him at McDonald's, guys. I was waiting for him three hours. He's busy, not a chick. While I'm waiting, I'm alone at McDonald's. I'm walking along the down the streets of Kimberley for him just to find out he was other girls. And meanwhile, his friend that I called was also busy with another chick. And he still has enough to lie to me and tell me that he hasn't been with Exhibit A. He confesses everything. The, apparently it wasn't the first time doing that. Or oh, I don't know the story because stories have two sides. So I don't know exactly what happened. Like did he confront her or did she go to him or something. But she knew that we were dating. And then that's when she went to him. That same weekend he bought me like. 500 rands worth jewelry and things like that <laughs> obviously i was the madam but because i was so dumb um i forgave him it would take a real guy to cut me after my own situation okay guys moral of the story do not let guys play you you play guys <laughs> not me promoting being a hoe but guys do not let the guy steal that you know from you because you are worth so much more you do not deserve a guy that cheats on you you do the cheating stay toxic sis <laughs> i'm joking okay babies please subscribe to my channel and like the video and share the video please guys i really appreciate the fact that you guys are subscribing and not just watching my videos um yeah, we'll be safe, guys. Grown into, I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you and only you. Yeah.